hello everybody welcome back to my youtube channel my name is not and i make videos on construction lifestyle and travel if you're new here welcome and if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for tuning back in please do not forget to like the video on today's video we have another random one we are going to be talking about the psychology behind office spaces so this is a series I started last year, very random, but I'm always interested in how psychology impacts the built environment. So, <laughs> so office spaces were designed for four purposes. Number one, it was to obviously increase productivity. You're surrounded by people who are doing the same thing as you and to stay focused on the work that you are hired to do, you know, to help you increase memory attention. When you're working, obviously you're absorbing information, you need to remember the information. So an office space is designed to assist you in retaining that memory. The third thing that office spaces were designed to do is to assist you to be a bit more creative. When you're doing any type of job, your core responsibility is to kind of like come up with solutions. So if office spaces were designed to assist you to be a bit more creative, to increase your problem solving capabilities yes. help you reduce stress i mean points one two three can already be so stress inducing and working in general is very stressful so if you can create a space that also helps ease the mind from being stressed this is what an office space or a working space aims to do do and these are number one nature lighting color schemes the temperature of the office ergonomics which is like the furniture in the office how comfortable is it how long can you sit in the chair and you know the space between you and the computer is your back straight does it not hurt how long you know and lastly the freedom to personalize so nature is known to calm us down and like bring us back to like who we are naturally and this is why plants are a very important factor in offices if you haven't noticed if you look at your office it's probably like plants in my current office there are plants everywhere they are fake though which is it irks me i read somewhere that like fake plants are like bad feng shui but just seeing them is like really but i get the idea behind it the reason that we have some greenery is because it has a psychological impact on your brain there's a calming effect i feel like that's where the majority of the goal of like reducing stress comes from plants are relaxing they connect us to nature and sometimes you'll have like an office space where an office building where outside there's like a beautiful garden that you can walk into or a cafeteria where you can sit in and there's like a, a, a plant wall there to kind of help you feel a little more connected to nature that's a relaxing part of it so nature is a big factor in offices if an office space has got weird or uncomfortable lighting this might affect your concentration might affect how you see things it might give you headaches so lighting is a very important factor to look into i personally am very sensitive to lights like i would rather i work in dim spaces uh, when I was in school, I remember my mom would come into my room when I was studying and I'd only have like the side lamp on and I'd switch off like the main light. And she's like, can you see? And I'm just like, when I have the main light on, it actually irritates my eye and gives me a headache. So I work better in dim lights. So in my office space, I'm so lucky. Like because the while well, we do obviously have like office lights at the top, but we also have like windows all around. And I will then control the blinds on my side and like kind of tone it down a little bit and that makes it like comfortable for me to work so lighting is one of the first things that's looked into if you see better or if you're in a comfortable light and you work better and depending on where and how you work this might be a tricky one if you work for like in an office that's got centralized temperature <laughs> You might be in trouble or this might be very uncomfortable to you. I read an article that spoke about how women prefer like warmer temperatures and it's worse if you're like melanated if you're black. Like black people are a bit more like more tolerant of heat and they're very sensitive to cold and then white people are like the opposite they're more like tolerant to cold and very uncomfortable when it's, it gets hot. So if your office is, has got like a mixture of people there might be like tug of war over the aircon remote i've been in a setup like that <laughs> when the temperature changes you're like ah oh. mariah's in isn't she i uh, like it's a bit too hot here and i know oh, natando just got it we can't help it if you can just manage the temperature you'll be a bit more productive mm -hmm. 
color scheme so depending on where you work and what you need from your background having cooler colors are more like for i feel like corporate slash boring jobs where you work with numbers things need to be in detail and things need to be it's less creative industries and if you work for a more creative space i think they'll use um a lot of colors and i'm imagining like google like from that movie the social media social network i forgot what the movie is um google space up a bit more chill there's like bean bags everywhere there's colors walls are like yellow there's uh, you know just to create that environment of creativity relaxation and you know enhancing that so that also plays a really big role in making the office space take out the most of what you need from it so if you can make whatever your space is personalized or work for you so if i can let's say bring my own little plant or a picture of my baby and a picture of like my husband things i don't have <laughs> or like a picture of my family what i'm working towards that can make the office space feel a bit more relaxing i feel like that can help with inducing re relaxation and maybe increasing my motivation because i know what i'm working for who i'm working for there's like a wholesomeness to it We have the worst office spaces in the world because it's like a container or a basement that's dark and has nothing to it. I think if you try to maintain your desk and maybe have a plant somewhere there that you're trying to keep alive, that can add a bit of relaxation in your space. Um, also, if you have the control, lighting, control the lighting in your office space. And temperature-wise, depending on where you work, if you're working with in a basement bring in a heater to like help you keep warm because if you're not warm you might not be as productive as you'd like to be because you're uncomfortable you need to be in a temperature that makes you as comfortable as possible and if you can't bring in a heater because i remember at one of my site jobs the heaters that we had would like trip the electricity and it would be so cold so maybe like dress a bit warmer even if it's summer outside bring your jacket like leave your jacket at work so that you can wear it while you're in this cold environment or and just in help create an environment that is really as comfortable as possible for you personalize your desk if you can add a picture of what motivates you add a word of what motivates you this helps in creativity or like you know can help you be a bit more productive and maybe add a picture of like your baby or whatever obviously don't overdo it don't like make it like a home like you brought your room divider to the office but just personalize it a bit just so you like your working space and you like what you see and you feel good in it if you're working from home then you obviously you have a bit more control over the design the spot that you put your desk in um, the lighting that you have but if you're in an office and you don't have much choice in how things look then i think these little tiny changes could help you setting up your desk as neatly as possible adding a plant which you can order from decades about plants for your office wherever you are you know nature has this thing of like calming us down and making us feel good and you can have like an office baby at the office which you're taking care of which you know so yeah <laughs> i hope you enjoyed this video i really enjoy knowing what spaces why spaces were designed and what the goal is for that type of space and if you found it informative or interesting please do let me know and please do let me know if you like these type of videos thank you so much for watching this video see you later in another video please don't forget to like share and subscribe mm.